Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Stable. As you can see, I'm back on South Hoof. It's been months since I've been here last and I took Honey with me because this is her home island. And uh, they added a new quest here, that's why I'm here. And I'm assuming I gotta pick up some blue buckets because the, there were buckets lying around all along the road from the uh, docks to here. So I'm just guessing that's what I'm going to do, but I'll, I'll just talk to a um, Jonas here, yes, and find out what he wants. Let's see. Hello there, Mira. Nice to see you. What brings you this way today? Everything's just fine here. Business is improving fast now that other people can get here easily. Actually, now I come to think of it, there's one thing that's not quite right. Since the boat sank, we've not been able to enjoy all of the delicious fruits of the sea. You wonder why I don't just fish from the land instead of on the boat? Um, yeah, I suppose I could, especially since it's been forever since I was able to offer the family some really tasty seafood. We're so lucky down here in South Hoof. The fishing is so excellent. It's the perfect environment to host a wide range of sea life and you can even fish for crayfish and oysters right there on the beach. Oh, Secret really loves oysters. You think we should do something about it and try our fishing luck? Right then, let's just well, let's do just that. Go take a look in the box just here to see if we've got any crayfish, uh, crayfish traps left. Oh, hey kitty. Uh, which box? Let's see. Um, it's in behind the house. I th whoops. <laughs> I didn't see that there. Whoops. Um, behind here. Because I can't see any boxes anywhere else. According to this, I'm standing right on top of this box I'm supposed to look in. No, seriously, where is the box? Oh, is it in here? Oh, it's in here. There we go. I think I found something. Yes, empty crayfish traps. Okay, well, we did find some traps for Jonas. Looks like he found the crayfish traps. I did. Perfect, Mira. Now we've got all the crayfish traps there and they're even looking in pretty good shape, which is lucky. Now all that's left to do is head to the beach so we can set them up. You'll give me a lift so we can set them up together? Sounds like a fine idea. I won't need to make that long trip on foot. I'll show you, show you where we can set up the traps when we get there. One more thing. Here on South Hoof, we spit three times in the water when we set up crayfish traps. It's mostly superstition, but it's said to bring good luck and good catch. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's not quite at the ferry docks. But we'll find our way there. See, here's the buckets I was talking about. This one. Here's another one. I'm pretty sure we gotta do something with those buckets. Okay, we're almost here, I think. Oh. Am I really going in the water here? Spit, spit, spit. Was this always this shallow? More spitting? And I seems I missed one over here. Oh, this is cool. Yes, there's the last one.
They'll be just great. You handled the setup of those greyfish traps like a true fisher. Great work. Now it's just down to patience and a little bit of luck. You're wondering if we can go to collect oysters in the meantime. Absolutely. We need a couple of things before we can go gathering oysters. I think I've got all we need at the harbor so we can head over there. Okay, so we head to the docks. Yes. Oh. Here we go. <coughs> right. Good. This place always makes me happy and calm. Can you feel the wind on your face? Close your eyes and listen to the chatter of the seagulls. What a glorious sound. What? You think it sounds like I miss being out at sea since my boat sank? No, 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 no. I'm just as happy on land as a fish in water. <laughs> Oh well, there should be a couple of knives nearby which are perfect for cutting oysters loose from the seabed. Without the knives, there's no point even trying to gather oysters. Wonder where I put them though. Can you see them anywhere? Oh, I see sparkles. I'm guessing you left them here. Yes. Oh, there they were. Good that you brought your ice with you. Well, I was going to leave them at my home stable. I figured I'm going to need them, so I brought them with me. <laughs> now we're equipped with good knives. We'll also need a good bucket to keep the oysters in. There should be a couple of blue buckets around here somewhere that I used to take out with me on the boat, but they don't seem to be here. I use them for other stuff too, so I suppose they could be pretty much anywhere. You will have a ride around and look for them. I like your enthusiasm. I'll stay here and hold the fort in the meantime. Hey, I know where the buckets are because I rode right past them twice already. Yes, here's one. And the other one. Let's go back. Whoa, you found them. I'm impressed. They weren't that hard to find, to be honest. Right, good. We've got all we need to be able to gather oysters. Let's go to the beach. That's where Jovik's best oysters are to be found. I'll lead the way. Uh, this way? Looks like the orange is this way. I thought he was supposed to lead the way. You're just sitting there. Here we go. Do I just... Whoops. <laughs> I guess I just talked to him. Here we are. Oh. Um. Okay, let's leave honey over here. Okay. All we've got to do is get started and gather the oysters from the seabed. Use the knife I gave you to cut them loose. Oh, that's not difficult. Where are you going? He's just walking around. There we go. Oh, <laughs> how did I get here? Magic. What's that you say? You think it's going too slowly to collect oysters? I don't know. I I thought it was fine. <laughs> so you think it takes ages to collect oysters? Right. Good. I've shown you how to do it. So I suppose it's down to proving whether you know exactly what you're doing with the little race to see who can get oysters the fastest. Um, shall we say seven each? A race? Right, good. The first one to get seven oysters will be named South Hoof's Oyster Master. It's a race! Come on, I'm ready. Come on. One. 
two. Three. Oh, he's beating me. Let's go five. Six. Come on, let me win. Did I win? Whoa, that was fast. I never thought you'd be able to beat me. Yes, I I win, I win. After all, I've raced against my granddaughter Madison a few times and she's never beaten me yet. <laughs> well, she's a lot younger than me. Now I officially leave over to you the title of South Hoof Oyster Master. What an incredible technique you've learned in such a short time. We've gathered so many oysters that we'll have a great supply for ages. I might even need to sell some since they, since we got so many. In any case, they'll need to be washed and we'll need to bait the crayfish traps before we're done for the day. Hmm? You'll give me a ride down to the harbor so that I can wash the oysters while you bait the crayfish, uh, crayfish traps? Sounds like a plan to me. Let's go. Let's go. It looks funny on uh, honey. Okay, let's go back to the harbor. Here we are. My most humble thanks for the ride, master. We've still got to see if we've managed to snap up any crayfish. Ride out and check the traps. With pleasure. Okay, did I get anything? I did. And another one. Yes, and uh, one more. Here we go. All done. Here we go. Greetings to you, South Hoof Oyster Master. <laughs> Did we get any crayfish? Wow, we've been lucky little fishers today. It's been a long time since I had such luck with fishing. Perhaps you're a lucky charm. Maybe I am. Oh, I get a shirt. You've done a great day's work, Mira. Now the whole family can enjoy these delicious gifts of the sea again. Thanks for all your help and your great company. Oh, is that the end of the quest? Let's look at the shirt. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that's such a good shirt. Yay! Now, seeing as I'm on honey today, I figured we'd try out the pony race we helped build up uh, today. Okay, Mira, are you ready to test out our pony race? We are really excited to see how it goes. I hope it is fun. We have been planning this for months now. You need to ride a pony to be able to ride in the competition, but I am sure you understand that by now, right? Oh, one more thing. I don't know if you have learned to jump with your regular horse yet, but it is possible to ride through the pony competition without jumping at all. The course is easier if you can jump, but we have designed it so that both beginners and expert riders can enjoy the course. Good luck! Yes, let's go. Yay! Oh, that's cool. The gate thingy. What? It wasn't me. I didn't break it. That was scary. I swear it wasn't me. It just broke on its own. Oh no, 
Oh, the jump broke. How did that happen? You barely touched it. Damn right I barely touched it. What bad luck. What should we do now? We can't open the competition if the obstacles are broken. Mira, this is a disaster. All the obstacles are broken except for one. How could this happen? I know, it was that James. First he was completely against our competition and then he suddenly completely nice about it. Uh, he is behind this, I know it. M Mira, what should we do? Can you go and speak to James about this? Thank you. Oh, I really hope you can help us with this. Otherwise we will need to cancel our plans to have a pony competition. Oh, James a pain. He better make it up for them, cause that's not, that's not nice. Those poor girls. James, you've got some explaining to do. What did you do the ups to the obstacles? Ouch! Hello, Mira. I don't really have time to chat right now. My stomach hurts. It is important. Okay then. Oh, broken jumps? No, I don't know anything about that. Do I swear? No, maybe a little bit. Okay, okay, it was me that did it, but I didn't really mean to do it. Um, oh, okay, we have a clock there. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, this new quest was, it, it was interesting. It was different uh, than what I've done so far the other quests um, and I really enjoyed it actually um, I wasn't sure if I would because it's just fishing stuff but it was actually it was pretty fun <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you next week bye